Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about eight ways to completely transform your clothes and they actually work. They're really, really cool and handy tricks that you can do when you're wearing clothes that may not fit perfectly or maybe you just wanna wear it in a new way. These are so handy to have in your back pocket. So if you happen to be new, consider subscribing down below and give this video a thumbs up. That really, really helps. Give it a thumbs up. Okay, let's just get started with the first thing because I'm wearing it and I'm super uncomfortable. I love this cami. It's from Amazon. I can link it down below, but my goodness, it's not fitting well at all. As you can see, it's a little bit a little bit too big. So the first trick, whenever you have a camisole like this, you can do this with tank tops, you can do it with camis like this, but if it's too loose on you, you can actually just crisscross the straps. So one moment. And here we go, see what I mean? Like instant transforming trick. This cami now fits me so much better. I feel like it's a new stylish top. It looks, it just looks completely different, but it's such an easy trick to again, have in your back pocket. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about, I'm not really going to include it in my eight tricks, but it is transforming, and that's why I wanted to put it in this video. Uh, so a lot of you, well, you may or may not know, I am a Victoria Emerson partner, so I'm obsessed with her wrap bracelets. This is the classic wrap, I have so many. I'm especially obsessed with the boho cuffs, which are the instant arm candy. It's just like a magnetic closure. You throw it on, you, you're good to go. She also has these gold bracelets now, which I'm even more excited about. But the reason I wanted to mention her stuff is because there's people out there that love Apple watches, but sometimes they just really don't go with your outfit. And I feel like this is a really cool transforming way to transform your Apple watch. So she is having a sale when this video goes live where everything on the site um, is 45% off or up to 45. Most most items I believe are 45% off. So I'll link everything down below. Like I got, I'll link my favorite things, but it's just a really, really good deal. And I think the sale lasts maybe two or three days. So anyway, just wanted to mention that. Okay, so the next transforming trick that I'm gonna do is that. So you, you, you can't you can't really actually do that. So anyway, here we are now in another cami or bodysuit, or is it? No, it's actually just a black bathing suit, like a black swimsuit. So keep that in mind, guys. If you have just a black swimsuit, one piece, use it as a bodysuit. People are paying tons, myself included. I, I love my, my Abercrombie and Fitch black bodysuits. I'm always talking about how those are the best, but guys, I'm telling you, this works just as well. It, if I'm gonna throw on a blazer and you're not gonna even know the difference. See what I mean? It's so convenient. It already has like built-in coverage here because it's a swimsuit, like hello. You're welcome. So the next transforming tricks involve jeans. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna show you on the jeans that I'm wearing because they're a perfect example. I love these jeans, they're boyfriend cut, they're a little bit oversized, which can be good, but if you want to have them fit even better and really cinch your waist and make it look like you kind of have an hourglass waist, this is such a quick and easy trick. So hopefully I can explain it okay, but I will zoom down there for you to see visually. So what you're gonna do is take the button of your jeans and actually thread it back through the belt loop that's right beside it. And I'm sure that sounds really confusing, but hopefully you see what I'm doing. Then you want to continue on with buttoning your jeans. And then instantly your jeans fit way better and again creates this kind of V around your waistline and it just looks so, so flattering. The next transforming jean trick involves the ankles of your jeans. Like say you want to cuff them. So boyfriend jeans and oversized jeans, like I said, they're very in style right now. However, sometimes you want to have have like a jogger or street style look or you do just wanna cuff them. And there's just different ways that I see people do this and these are my two favorite ways that I, it just looks so good, so just give it a try. The first is actually just taking a hair tie and putting it down around your ankles and then rolling up the jeans around the hair tie. This just bunches them perfectly, it makes it stay in place. It's just a good trick to, to kind of remember. Um, but another trick, and this is a newer thing that I've been doing, and I honestly think it might even stay better and be a little bit more comfortable and give a better look, uh, but it's actually using a bobby pin. So I can't even remember the last time that I put a bobby pin in my hair, but I'm always using them on my jeans. So again, what you do is you, you cuff it one time and then you pinch together the, the cuff 
and you just slide a bobby pin right up in there. And it, it again kind of bunches them and creates a beautiful street style jogger jean uh, to just a regular pair of oversized boyfriend jeans. So you can have, you know, just so many different styles with only one pair. So the next transforming clothing trick, I just love this one. You're gonna take a long skirt. Here it is. That's what it is. So most people would wear it like a skirt, right? Not me. You're just gonna pull it right on up and you're gonna wear it like a dress. Now, I feel like you might be thinking, okay, it doesn't look quite right and I, I, I agree. We're gonna fix that. Okay, so basically you just need a belt. I'm gonna use this black one. Again, it's just from Amazon. I can link it down below, it's extremely cheap, but you just really need a belt, I feel like, to kind of pull it all together, cinch your waist, give you some definition, and voila, you have a new, a new dress that you didn't know you had. Okay, so now I'm just wearing the skirt completely normal. I'm actually wearing this lace cami from Amazon. Again, I'm obsessed. Uh, but if you just wanna wear the skirt completely normal, there are still ways that you can transform it to make it look different. And it involves knots. So a lot of people like tying knots in their shirts or their tops. I'm actually always suggesting that to you and sharing different tricks that you can do. But people forget that you can do it with skirts and dresses. And this is a perfect example. So for this skirt, Skirt, you can tie a knot on the inside or the outside. And I think for this one, I kind of prefer it on the outside. You just pick one side or the other, tie a knot, and it really changes the way it fits you. It looks a little bit more conforming, a little more sexy. Um, but you could also take a hair tie and just grab a chunk of the skirt and then tie a loop with the hair tie, and it creates a really pretty cascading waterfall effect. Speaking of knots, I'm busting out my, my step ladder for this next one because this one's life changing guys. It just, wait, no, that's good. All right. So I've told you time and time again that if you take a, a regular blouse like this, you can actually unbutton the bottom and you know what I mean? Like tie, tie a knot here, but hold up. Did that, this is not, that's not what I'm saying. But a lot of people, you know, they tie the knot da, 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 like this, but that doesn't look good, right? I mean. What, it, what What is that? What you can do, this is, guys, when I when I figured this out, it was it, ugh, life changing. So to get the, the knot or the tie to lay correctly and straight, you want to, to do this and take this top little bunny ear. I feel like we're learning to tie our shoelaces here. You're gonna take this top bunny ear. You're gonna hold it like this. You're gonna just like bring it around. Then you're gonna take this side and then you're gonna like bring it up this way. You're gonna like bring it up and put put it through so that it, it. do you see that? It ties, zoom in on that, man. Oh yes, well don't show the, don't show your tag. But there, that is how you get the knot to be completely straight across and actually look good and not like something else if you know what I mean. Man, I should have been using this step ladder the whole time. Okay, so this next transforming trick has to do with just wearing a regular sweater. Sometimes baggy sweaters aren't the most flattering, not to mention they're kind of bulky, so if you tuck them in, it's gonna leave weird bulges. So this is such, this is just really cool. So I have this seamless bra. I'm always talking about it. It's my favorite. I can link them below. But what you're gonna do is actually take the end of the sweater and tuck it up right into your sports bra or seamless bra, like whatever you're wearing and bring it down and you can kind of adjust it how it's good for you. But it's such a good way to kind of crop the the sweater so that it, it fits better, it's not bulky. You can bring it down so that, you know, your stomach's not showing, but it gives kind of like a tucked in look without making any bulges happen right here. And again, you can make it crops more so that if you want your stomach showing or lower, it's, ugh. Love it. See, the, the, instantly, this sweater looks 10 times better. So that does it for this video. I'll have the Victoria Emerson stuff linked down below if you happen to be interested along with everything else. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.